Welcome, this is Brian Peterson here, Director of Business Intelligence here at Jet Reports, and in today's session, we are going to be, to be discussing uh, the idea behind uh, adding any source adapters to our uh, Jet Enterprise project. Now, the any source adapter is uh, a feature that was added in Jet Enterprise 2016, and what it allows us to do is it allows us to actually go in and connect to any ADO or OEL. OLEDB compliant data source that's installed on the machine. This opens up a wide variety of data sources to us uh, because there are a number of third-party providers out there that create uh, that create um, integrations to various systems such as QuickBooks Online, Facebook, Google Analytics, Twitter, things like this, many of them being cloud-based solutions um, that we now have the ability to, uh, to easily connect to. And so uh, in order to do this, first, one of the things we're not going to talk about in this particular uh, session is how to install those providers, right? You'll want to uh, get the provider from the vendor uh, and uh, get it properly installed and configured on this particular machine. Uh, in this case, what I've done is I've gone out and downloaded a, uh, a Twitter uh, ADO provider from a company named CData, uh, letter C D A T A. They have a lot of different uh, providers available. And um, and so that's what we'll be using today. But uh, but you want to have make sure that the provider itself is installed. And then in order to get it into the Jet Data Manager, we can do this. Uh, we're just going to come down. I've opened my project up down here. I have my data sources, and uh, we'll go ahead and right click on it. And then we'll go to the data sources level here. And then you'll see here down at the bottom, we have add any source uh, OLEDB or add any source ADO. So just depending on which provider is installed, we can go ahead and open one of these up. Uh, now you'll see here that um, I can give it a name. And here I can pick all of the OLEDB providers that are currently installed on my particular machine. So I can use any of these to connect to Oracle or anything else. Uh, what we'll actually be connecting to is going to be ADO, so I'll go ahead and go to data sources, uh, add any source ADO right here. And uh, this looks very similar. I'll go ahead and just call this Twitter test. And uh, I can see here my providers, again, these are all the ADO providers installed on my machine. So uh, what I'm going to do here, I'll go ahead and pick this CData uh, ADO provider for Twitter that I mentioned. I click OK, and uh, once I have picked the provider, I am uh, presented with a pane of uh, details that I can come back. Now, the, the details provided here are going to vary by provider. Right. So um, just because this is what this looks like for Twitter does not mean that it's going to look the same for Facebook or for QuickBooks Online or for CRM Online or anything else that we may be connecting to. And so, um, again, in order to properly configure this, um, what you will uh, need to do is take the, you know, the direction, directions or instructions from the provider as far as uh, what to fill in for these various things and then get this configured. Uh, one of the things just to explain uh, with regard to um, the Twitter one is I went to Twitter, created an application. Briefly, there are instructions provided by CData on how to do all of this. And I really just had to fill in the client ID, the secret, the access token, and then the token secret. So it looks like there's a lot of information to fill in here. But for me to get this to work, the only thing that I needed to do was fill in these uh, four um, items right here. Now, I'm not going to necessarily fill these in. I already have another one that's already set up right over here. Otherwise, uh, I would be sharing my tokens with everyone, and you could go and tweet on my behalf, and I don't want that to happen. So, um, but this is essentially how the provider is set up. Now, one more thing I want to mention down here, um, uh, I can test the connection, which, right, right now it says that it's succeeded, so it's connected to Twitter itself, but um, it will would not actually be able to pull data without the uh, information that's been stored right in here. So it can connect to the actual Twitter API. But there uh, is the ability to come in here and select advanced settings, and this is where, um, if needed, we can come in and uh, put in any advanced data source properties. Again, for in many cases, these will not be required. Um, for uh, for Twitter, for example, you can click read values, and if possible, it'll automatically read out uh, what these various values are. Right, character replacements, schema properties. Um, if you want to do object filtering, uh, you can use. Um, uh, particular expressions down here to filter out certain objects, whether it's going to be a schema or a table, things like that, regular expressions, strings. So there's a lot of things that you can do in here to narrow down the 
objects to get returned uh, as necessary. So, uh, and then right down here, we have the ability to use integration services for transfer as well. When left as parent, it'll inherit the properties set by the project. Otherwise, you can say yes or no to force this particular uh, provider to either use integration services or not. Right. And one of the nice things here is that uh, this will come in and also read in a lot of information uh, from the provider. So you can see here that as far as what some of these may be, it'll let you know um, what should be provided in here. Right. So this is going to be the consumer key or OAuth client ID for your Twitter app. So it lets you know what it is that we're supposed to fill in here because, again, we connect to Twitter and, uh, and the provider lets us know what all of these things need to be. With that being said, so that's how you would connect, you would set it up. Now that I've shown that, I can go ahead and expand my application a little bit more here to take up the full screen. And one of the things that you'll notice down here is that it, uh, as far as Twitter is concerned, I can right click, I can read the objects from the data source. I'd already done it previously, but over here I have all of the um, uh, table objects, we can view them as tables, uh, that are available uh, through Twitter for my particular account. So in here, I can see um, all of the people that I'm following. Uh, I can right click and I can click preview table. And what it'll do, this actually went directly out to Twitter as I clicked that and showed me the number of followers or the number of people that I'm currently following, uh, as, as well as a lot of interesting information, right? So I can come in here and see the names of the people that I'm following. Uh, some of them are just you know, generic trial version people. Um, I can see uh, information about uh, how many followers each one of them has, uh, how many friends they have, things like that. So it gives us a, a fair amount of information about all of the people that I'm following and uh, in addition to you know how many favorites they have when their account was created. So there is a lot of information here. Uh, as well as uh, any lists, any subscribers, any mentions, any retweets, any tweets that I have actually put out, right? I can see in here a list of, of all of my tweets getting returned right over here. So um, there's a lot of really good information. Uh, and really, uh, now one thing I want to mention is n with, um, with, with some providers, we may not be able to preview because the context of some of the query may not avail be available until we actually create the package and, and submit it. So uh, we may not be able to preview it with every single provider that, with, that's out there, but with many of them, this preview will work. And uh, if I want to come in and, and bring in some various information here, right, I can open up the tweets uh, table. I can pick everything from this particular table. If I wanted to see retweets, mentions, uh, all of the uh, followers I have, who's following me, all of these various things, I can come in here and add in the tables that I want from this particular provider. I can see here when I expand my staging database that all of these were added right into my staging database. And then I can simply come in and I will uh, deploy and execute the uh, just the modified ones here. Right, so this will allow me to come in. Oops, there we go. There we go. Deploy and execute modified objects. So I can pick that there. All of my uh, my uh, Twitter tables that were just added. I can go ahead and start that. And what that's going to do is that's going to go ahead and build out all of the tables in my staging database, uh, just like it would with any other data source that I've added. And it's also going to come in and uh, build out all of the integration services packages to transfer the data from Twitter, right? So it'll go directly from the Twitter API and the cloud and bring that information uh, on premise so that I can then integrate that information with whatever other systems uh, that I want to use here. And so uh, once I do this, all of the information will be uh, made available to me on my uh, local environment. So again, I just wanted to show this um, using Twitter as one example of how we can go about uh, using ADO uh, and OLEDB compliant data sources. Uh, one of the things that I'll pull up briefly here, I can resize this window a little bit. There we go. One of the things that I'll pull up briefly is um, just a, is one example of the provider that I 
um, had downloaded the Twitter one from. And again, this is there are many providers out there. This is one provider that builds a lot of different um, ADO compliant sources for a lot of the things that you see here. Right, so Salesforce, QuickBooks Online, Zero Accounting, Intact, um, OData Services, Twitter, lots of different ones that you can go. Um, you can trial these, purchase them if necessary, uh, or purchase them if needed, and then uh, use this to connect uh, Jet Enterprise to uh, a wide variety of different data sources out here. So uh, with that being said, I hope that this, uh, this uh, presentation was useful and that it gives you a better standing of the AnySource providers and, and the value that they'll add uh, to, uh, to organizations looking to connect to uh, data sources outside of the standard ones that are provided, such as uh, SQL, uh, NAV, AX, and things like that. Uh, we hope to see you on a future session, and take care.